Good evening, Cameron coming to you from the wonderful city of Geelong in Victoria, Australia. What I'll do for you this evening is a instalment of my Australian DVD collection and what I'll call this one is the Blu-ray edition. Um, there are spoilers as I always warn, so if I discuss a film or start to discuss a film that you haven't seen and want to, please stop watching and come back later if you want So I'll just start off straight away. Mad Max, classic Australian cinema, um, you know, probably considered one of Mel Gibson's first films, if not the first, I don't really know the answer to that, but yeah, look, it's um, considered an Australian classic, filmed around this region, um, or be, be precise, um, Little River, and yeah, look, it's just... To be honest, I don't really remember a great deal about it. I've watched it um, because, you know, that's what you do. You watch classic Australian films, well, classic films, especially from your own country. But really, I watched it just to say I watched it. Um, so, well, people probably really like this film, and I won't knock it, but I just don't really remember much about it. Animal Kingdom. This is one that is sort of what you'd probably consider a um, movie version of the TV, in a way, um, movie version of Underbelly, um, although some of the Underbellies were done as like a movie, but this is like an, a, a movie length story based upon like Gangland Melbourne, or yeah, sort of drug crimes and all that kind of stuff um, and star some big names Ben Mendelsohn, Joel Edgerton, Guy Pearce Jackie Weaver there's some um, good actors who in here who have sort of moved on to um, Hollywood in some cases and it's not as I say look it's not a bad film well worth a watch uh, sort of like about it well, just says here a crime story so that's that Backyard Ashes, um, every Australian knows about backyard cricket, um, you know, is summer staple, particularly at Christmas time when the family gets together, um, we all play like, um, all play cricket in the backyard, so we have a tennis ball instead of a cricket ball, and this is, is sort of stems around a neighbourly dispute. Um, between a British person and his Aussie neighbour. Um, if you look at the cover again, you know, uh, you, you can't read that, but, you know, one of, one of them's Winging Pom, and the other one is the Dinkum Aussie. Uh, stars John Wood. He's probably the biggest name in here, um, although there's a, a guy in it called Lex Marinos, who you possibly know... From the TV show Kingswood Country, he was the Wog, um, as Ted Bullpit, the main star of that show, would always call him. Um, he only played a very bit part, but um, filmed in Wagga Wagga. And uh, long story short, there is an equivalent. Well, there's a. Um, I won't. I don't really want to spoil it. So what I'll say is, there's like some ashes involved. And um, the two neighbours have play off um, for those ashes. Um, quite a good film. I just accidentally caught this on um, cable when I was staying in a motel one time. And then I'm like, okay, off to JB Hi-Fi. And it's on Blu-ray because I couldn't find it on DVD. And um, Good film. And it's made by the same people who made one I've mentioned in another video, um... The Merger, which was also set in Wagga. Um, it's just a, a good good story. Last but not least, probably my favourite of them all, is Charlie and Boots. Starring two quite big in this day and age. Although this was done in about 2009, so, but even back then, you know, um, it was, you got two big, big names in Australian cinema these days, well, these days I'm talking about Shane Jacobson, who's sort of kicked off as 
Kenny, I guess, the toilet guy, and um, Paul Hogan, who needs no introduction, you know, Crocodile Dundee. A father and son story, they're sort of estranged, and um, what happens is they go on a journey from Warrnambool down here in Victoria, all the way up to Cape York Peninsula, so that's pretty much, well, it's a transcontinental journey one coast down the bottom of the country to the coast up the very top um, and as you can well look Australia is a big country and so um, it is a very long road trip but it is um, there's mayhem along the way uh, as I've said the um, father and son are a, not estranged but you know they're just not they don't get along like a house on fire and so there's a bit of tension when riding in a car 3,000 kilometres um, and as I say things go wrong along the way but um, it's a comedy and it's a great story and as you can probably imagine you know uh, father and son get to know each other better again and you know kind of make up for any damage that was done um, that's, a, that's pretty much it uh, leave a comment if you want to in the comment section if you've got an opinion about these films, you know, you like them, you don't like them, whatever, um, I'll bid you good evening. Ciao.